folks, we have Frank Kepnog here. If you could uh, hit the raise hand button, if you have a question for Frank and we will get rolling. We are going to start, Frank, with Rob Mosley of GoDucks.com. Frank, it, it seemed like a night when maybe the execution wasn't the cleanest and, and it was hard to get uh, three-point shots to fall. How much do you feel like in, a, in an environment like that, just your pure energy can really impact a game and how much did it did so did that was that the case tonight? Um, I mean, obviously tonight we, we didn't reach sure well from the, print, the three point line, and on those type of night, uh, we we just got to grind, we got to stay together, and I think that's what we did. Even when things go, went wrong, I think we all stuck together and just said, got to grind, got to got to win the game with different stop. Like I always said, there's many many ways to win a basketball game. James Crepia, the Oregonian. Frank, you're always a high energy guy on the court or on the bench. Tonight, sure. you even took it to another level. You hit the padding underneath each basket. You punched one of them. You stomped the floor. <laughs> You're screaming out after putback dunks. Why was tonight, why were you even extra, which is saying something for you? What, what was tonight? Why were you that jolted up and jacked up? Um, I think when it comes to my game, personally, I always try to bring the energy, but whether I'm on the floor or off the floor. And after um, the battles that we had our last game, I felt like this game, we all needed to bring a little more extra energy and more emotion uh, to the game. Um, we need, I think I needed to show more passion to the game, and, that, and that's what happened. When, whenever I was screaming, when I was hearing the pirate, just to the passion um, that I had to the game, whether it's a goal, try to get the hands on the ball and the rebound, extra possession um, on offense, on defense, when I'm black shot, taking charges. Matt Preem, 247. Frank, in the second half, the offense wasn't going good. It was a jumbled game for you guys. And then you guys turned it around. What, what do you guys attribute that to? What, what happened with five or six minutes left in the game for you guys to, to come back? Um, I think... Uh, I can speak with my teammate as well. Our mentality right now is every every single game count. Um, and every, whenever we're going to a game, we know it's going to be a battle. Uh, we know it's going to be a 40-minute game. And we have to focus and stick around for 40 minutes. And and when the, the clock is, is going down and we see and look up and it's six minutes left, um, there's just something in you that that, that wakes you more, that keep pushing you uh, to say, come on, guys, we, we need to stop. We need to stop. And and I think um, that, that's how we show. That's what the guards show. Um, up front, trying, trying to make sure they, they stay in front of the ball on guarding and I have the back um, when if the call comes to, to the basket and block shots. Max Torres, Ducks Digest. Frank, coming off of uh, Saturday's game against Cal, um, you know, how big is it for you guys to, to get this win before you uh, hit the road and, and head to Arizona? Um, I think it just put us back on track. Um, it, it, again, it just kind of reset our, our mind. And to me, okay, now we have to go on the road. And it's important to win our road, on the home game. And on the road, the road game is only us. Uh, only us have to bring the energy. Um, there's no really fan. It's just the team, the ball, and that's it. We, we're in there. So I think having the, having the win tonight put us in the right mindset to go forward. James. Frank, what has the challenge been like for you in terms of learning to defend without fouling. I know you get four fouls tonight, but a couple of them came late on shots you were contesting. You really only had two before the, the final 90 seconds or so. So when exactly. you have four blocks and you have the kind of defensive presence that you had, you drew a charge. These are things that you've struggled to do at times without fouling. When you mm -hmm. have a night like tonight, how are you able to do it and have the success tonight that you did when it's been a challenge before? Um. I think it's just taking every every single position uh, one at a time, um, relaxing and kind of take a deep breath and slow slow the game slow the game down a little bit. Um, in terms of fouling, it's just about more controlling my body, um, knowing when to switch up between raising the energy or just relax a little bit more uh, on on defense. Moose, coming off the Cal game. All the NCAA tournament projections came out today and had you guys either just barely in or just barely out. How aware of that are you guys or not? And is is that motivating you guys as you have come down the stretch right now? Since last game, our mindset was, okay, we did those next couple of games, we really got to go after it. 
Um, I don't think anybody is really so focused on, on the rankings and all that. I think we're more trying to get better, um, both individually and both as a team, and we just just focus on a wide game at a time. And Max? Frank, in a game like tonight when, uh, you know, a lot of the shots weren't going from uh, outside or, you know, even jump shots, I feel like that battle in the interior is really important. What, what were the conversations like between you and Infale, uh just, you know, getting that dynamic going? Um, me and Fale, uh, we always talk about setting the tone, setting the tone. Um, once Fale, when Fale started the game, you always come on, set, set the tone, Fale, set the tone. And I think me and him, we always talking to each other. We, whenever we sub out and stuff like that, we, we, we they'll tell each other what we need to do, whether it's rebound the ball or whether it's block a shot, and we just cheer each other on. Alrighty. Thank you, Frank. We appreciate your time. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.